I have got a cheap clone of Valentino Womo Intense, and it's actually really good. So stay tuned. I want to tell you all about it and compare it to the original. But first, I want to ask you to consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done that. I've got videos coming out every couple days, and I hope you'll join us. Also, let me know down in the comments, have you tried a clone of Womo Intense? Do you know of any others? Have you tried this one? Uh, and finally, consider giving the video a like because you might like this fragrance right here, Valencia Womo Intense. And so this is, as you can tell by the bottles, this is a clone of Valentino Womo Intense. And uh, there's obvious similarities here. And <clears throat> I saw Ash on Gent Sense mention this in a list video. I'd never heard of it, so I went over to Amazon. And I'll put a link in the description, but I'm pretty sure I got this for $25. Right around there, maybe it's $24, $26, but right around $25. Bucks. So I've been wearing it for the last three days or so, just kind of testing it out. And I will tell you this, that for the price, I am very impressed. I've been looking for a clone of Womo Intense for a long time. Out of the big iris fragrances, I go back and forth between DHI and Valentino Womo Intense. I usually prefer this one, or at least, you know, Valentino Womo Intense. So the difference is, uh, I'll just start by saying, you know, most people would consider Diorum Intense, Valentino Womo Intense, and Givenchy Gentleman EDP to be kind of like, you know, they're like sister or brother fragrances, the top end designer fragrances, and then there's some flankers uh, that are related to those, especially in the gentleman line, like Boise and Reserve Privé. But I love Valentino Womo Intense because there's a little more sweetness than the DHI. There's a leather note, and although in the, the actual official notes, they don't list any chocolate, but most people uh, also say there's a chocolatey vibe, and I also get that as well. And funny enough, vanilla mixed with iris can give you a little bit of a chocolatey vibe. Chocolate mixes very well with iris, and so I think that there's a touch of chocolate in here as well. So all of that being said, what about this one? Valencia Womo Intense, this approximately $25 clone that you can get right now on Amazon and probably have at your house in three days if you're in you know, the lower 48 in the US. Uh, I have been very impressed with this fragrance. I'll tell you that I just sprayed uh, the Valentino on one hand and I'm, and I'm <clears throat> actually wearing the Valencia today. I'll tell you that uh, immediately when you spray it, you know what it's cloning. And, and it's not like, oh, uh, you know, maybe it's DHI, maybe it's Givenchy. No, you know this is a clone of Valentino Womo Intense because that sweetness, that vanilla, chocolatey, and leather kind of, um, you know, that those distinctives of the fragrance, they definitely stand out. You also distinctly get that lipsticky iris. I will tell you though, that until about five minutes ago, whenever I sprayed Valentino Womo Intense on my hand, I didn't realize that this one has significantly less of the lipsticky iris than the Valentino has. Because uh, I've just been enjoying this one the last few days and kind of trying to test out longevity especially. And I'll tell you that uh, this fragrance, whenever I just sprayed it on my hand a few minutes ago, I was immediately, I guess, uh, surprised by the probably double amount of that waxy lipsticky iris than you have in the Valencia. I'm not really surprised by that because it is extremely rare for a cheap fragrance to do that fantasy iris note very well. The only clone that I have that nails it to perfection is uh, a clone of DHI Kion Classic by Al Watania. To me, that is on par with the Dior, if not better. I know that's almost blasphemous to some, but it is, it's the best clone fragrance that I own. This one is about half the price. That's about a $45 to $50 fragrance. This one's right in that $25 range. 
It does not do the, the lipsticky iris as well, but it's still present, it's noticeable. And if you like Valentino Womo Intense, you can't get that fragrance usually for less than a hundred bucks. I mean, I watched for it for a year and never saw it go under a hundred. And so I ended up just buying it at retail because I was tired of putting it off. And it's probably, again, my favorite out of the big iris fragrances. And I'll tell you, I'm about to release my most complimented video probably like a couple days after Christmas, most complimented of 2023. Valentino Womo Intense is probably my most complimented, definitely in the top two or three. I need to go back and kind of review and be sure. But it is a compliment monster. I have a feeling this one's going to do very well also because of that sweetness, that gourmand vibe. And I love leather fragrances. I love a, a you know, leather centric fragrance. Valentino and this one have an accent of leather and a leather fragrance with some, or a gourmand fragrance with some leather nuance is captivating. I mean, it's alluring, it's sexy, and it's the kind of fragrance that someone will smell and just be very intrigued by. And this fragrance has that. So quality level, I would say this is not going to touch the Valentino. I think that's why the iris is not as distinct. Uh, and also the Valentino, whenever I smell it, uh, you know, there's a, there's a real complexity. It's like you go on a journey with the fragrance as it develops. You'll get a little waft of chocolatey. You'll get the waxy iris. You'll get some vanilla. You'll sort of get all of those things kind of dancing together, including the leather. This one, you know, being a $25 fragrance, it's all there, but it's not as deep. It's not as complex. It's not as, you know, the notes are not going to be as distinguished. I'm trying to give you an honest evaluation here, and so I hope I'm not sounding overly critical because I really like this fragrance. I'm going to wear the heck out of it. I am over the moon happy that I got this for around 25 bucks. I think it's an awesome pickup if you don't have Valentino Womo Intense or if you just want to kind of dabble and see if you like the fragrance profile or do what I'm going to do. And, you know, this is, I think, probably 120 after tax for this one. And uh, I, I want to make it last, and so I'll probably experiment like doing half of the cheapy on one side and half of Valentino on the other. I do that. I'll go back and forth. So I think it's a great pickup. It's definitely got the iris that you're probably looking for, not to the level of one of the big three, you know, designers that I mentioned, but it's present as well as that gourmand, gorgeous, leathery beauty that you're going to get from Valentino Womo Intense. So again, this is Valencia Womo Intense. I do recommend it. And performance. I haven't said that yet. I've been testing a lot of fragrances the last, well, couple years, <laughs> but especially the last couple days. Uh, so I haven't fully tested longevity, but I can tell you definitely this is a six or seven hour fragrance. Maybe longer than that, but I just haven't really given it a full run, you know, spraying it on in the morning, six or eight sprays, and then being gone all day and just seeing how it performs. I haven't done that yet, but I would say it's at least average performer. It's not a four hour fragrance. Uh, and I've been getting, one of the things I love about the Valentino, I get a, a wonderful sillage all day where I've got that scent cloud. I'm getting wafts of it. The first few hours of this one, it is, it's awesome. I smell it constantly. Part of that's my particular biological makeup. Different people go nose blind to different things. I don't tend to go nose blind to this fragrance profile. And so I'm smelling it for hours. And I love that. Valencia Womo Intense, pick it up. I'll put a link in the description. Let me know if you've tried it. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm Justin. This is Siash Sense.